Hello, everybody. Welcome to Coffee with Couchbase. My name is Chi Zhu, and I'm a product manager with Couchbase. Today, I'm going to show you a new feature we developed in Couchbase Server 4.5, which is called SubDocument API. A little background. One of the use cases at Couchbase is use Couchbase Server at the document store. So in this use cases, you store a bunch of JSON documents inside Couchbase Server. Don't get me wrong, everything works well with the existing Couchbase server, but one of the limitations is related to updating a single field. Because today, you have to fetch the entire documents, modify locally, and then resend the entire documents to the cluster. Also, there is a challenge of the cast mismatch. To update a single field, you are required to use CAS, which stands for Compare and Set, to ensure consistency. But if you have two or three applications try to modify the same document at the same time, it will result a cast mismatch, and your application have to retry. Quickly recap limitations. First of all, it's not very efficient in terms of network utilization, because you have to fetch entire documents and then resend it. Second, it requires three steps to update a single field. First read, modify locally, and then send. There is always a challenge with the cast mismatch, because for highly contented documents, your application may end up resulting retry a lot of times because cast mismatch. That's why we introduce the SubDocument API. SubDocument API allows addressing individual JSON components within a large documents. So in this example, you can see on my client side, I just want to get my last name. So I issue SubDoc get, give it a key, give it a path, and just might get my last name. A little deep dive into the path. Pass is a syntax referring to individual JSON components or document fields inside your large documents. So in this example, foo.bar gives the value of the bra, and list bracket 0 gives the value 1 and 2 inside the array. This is the retriever side of sub.gets API. You can see there is a get command which fetches a single field. There are existing commands which checks whether a pass exists in these documents. This is the mutation side of the sub.doc API. You can insert or add values in dictionary or insert elements into array. What about cast mismatch? In subdoc API, there are two levels of consistency. One of them called local consistency. On the local consistent level, two threads can update two separate fields at the same time without causing a cast mismatch. So in this example, you can see thread 1 can update field 1 and thread 2 can update field 2. For more information, please go to our documentation on this. This is a quick Java code example of Sub.API. API. Java SDK today is available at positive DP. It is Java SDK 2.2.4. A take a quick look at the code. You get a cluster setup, bucket the connection, and then you just want to fetch a field out of the entire documents. I'll give you more details in my demo session. Quick summary, key takeaways for Sub.API API is more efficient because you don't have to fetch the entire documents and then resend it again. It is more flexible because it allows you to update a single field within a large documents, and it is faster. Here are all the useful links. Please take a look and start downloading Couchbase Server 4.5 and start playing with Couchbase with Subdoc API today. With that, let me go to my demo session. First of all, I want to show you my Couchbase Server setup. I have a single node Couchbase Server, localhost connection, three data buckets. I'm going to use a travel sample in my demo session. And you see I have a document with the key airline underscore 10. I'm going to keep it on the right hand side of my screen. Then I'm going to bring up my terminal. Side by side. Great. So in the just a word of caveat, I'm using a private repo Python SDK today. It is not available as part of DP, but it's going to be available very soon. So stay tuned for Python. But you can always use Java SDK today as part of the DP. Great. So let me get started. OK. You can see I have JSON documents with the key airline underscore 10 and the seven fields. Let's say I just want to update the ITAR field, right? What I do, I use subdoc API without fetching the whole document. Give it a key name. Give it a path. OK. Give it a new value. Let's say Q. Uh, 14. Great. Let's see what happens, right? Give it a key name, path, and the new value. Operation succeeded. Previously, before the updates, you can see the value is Q12, 
and let me refresh the page. Awesome, now it becomes Q14. Okay, this is set. What about get? So very similar. Let's say I want to fetch the country field out of my documents. Just one single field. Give it a name and give it a path, right? Country. So I'm expecting to see United States, right? In this UI, United States, and on my command, let's see. Great, the command succeeded. So I get United States back. So this is a quick demo of Subdoc API, get and set. For more information, please go to our documentation. Thank you very much.